Hi guys, before I start today's video, I just wanted to apologise for the very loud leaf blower that is just outside that window there. It's very annoying and he doesn't seem to be stopping, so I'm going to go ahead anyway. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you what's inside my handbag, and this is an airport aeroplane edition. I think by the time you watch this video, I would have been back from my holiday and hopefully a little bit more tanned than I am now. But I went to Greece, or I'm going to Greece. Yeah, I thought I'd show you what's in my bag, especially because I have a new handbag and it's very special. I'll give you a sneak peek. Eee. I'm going to show you the handbag at the end of the video, so stay tuned after I've gone through all the stuff and I will show you my brand new handbag and talk to you more about it. So it's just a short haul flight that I'm going on, so I haven't got any kind of face mask or skincare routine or anything that I would use on a long haul flight and it's pretty easy to pack for a short haul flight but I thought I'd show you what's inside anyway. First thing is my laptop because I can't pack this in my suitcase because it would just break and this is a MacBook Air so it's very thin and light. I actually need to get a better case for it, this one is quite bulky. I might try to find one of those later, but yeah, really thin, light laptop. I'm going to try and not work on holiday, but I like to take it with in case of emergencies, and also it's good if I want to watch films on the plane. I also have a packet of Starburst. I always like to have some sweets or snacks on the plane because I hate plane food, and on EasyJet short-haul flights you don't even really get food anyway, so I like to have these, especially they're really good for your ears, if your ears pop on takeoff and landing, it's nice to have like chewy sweets. Then I always get loads of magazines for the flight, I like to read them on takeoff and landing to distract me from being on a plane because I'm very scared of flying. Um, these are normally the ones I get, this is Glamour, which I came with a free little Clinique mascara, travel size, which is very good. So Glamour, Company magazine, which is probably my favourite, Look, which I like for fashion, oh can you hear the leaf blower, shh, and Grazia, which is an old favourite of mine. Seriously, what is the point of a leaf blower, you're just moving the leaves from here to there. I've never understood them, it should be like a leaf vacuum, not a blower. So anyway, I wanted a book for holiday. When I was in Malta I read The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, so you guys suggested that I looked at some of his other books, and I had a little read of the back of the books, but they all seemed a little bit smushy and couples falling in love, and I think I've had my fair share of that from The Fault in Our Stars. I really wanted to read the Steve Jobs autobiography, but it's huge, like too big to take on holiday in a handbag. So I picked this up, which is by Sinead Morarty, and it's called Mad About You. And I don't know, it looks like it might not be amazing. I read the back and it seems quite interesting, so I might buy another book at the airport as a backup in case I don't enjoy this, but I just wanted something light and easy to read when I'm by the pool. I have my Sony headphones with me, and these are great because they fold up, so they're good for traveling. They fold up like this, and then they are, tangled, apart from being tangled, they're really comfy to wear and they're noise cancelling, they've got this little bit here that you put a AAA battery in and you can switch it on and it cancels out all the horrible plane noise that makes me scared of flying. These are really comfy so I always take these away with me. I also have my purse, when I go on holiday I don't like to take my big main purse with me because I don't really need that much stuff, I just need my ID, debit card, um, and some euros, so this is in, they're all in this little purse from Forever 21 that's nice and pineapple and watermelony. I also have my braces, if you don't know I have clear braces, I'm using a brand called Clear Guide. I think I'm about halfway through my treatment now so I might do a blog post telling you guys all about it, so if you have any questions about braces, these are like the clear ones that slot in, just comment down below and I'll try and answer those questions in my blog post. I have my vlogging camera, I don't think I'll actually be vlogging but I want to take some personal pictures for me and Rich to keep from our holiday. This little case I found in Tiger and I really like it, it looks like a camera on both sides and it fits my little Canon S120 perfectly inside. It's been making some funny clicky noise recently, if you watched my video with my friend Keisha, I'm sorry for the sound, it was a bit annoying with the clicking, but I think I figured out a way to stop that now. I also have my passport, of course, this case is from Aspinall of London, and I really like it, it's very smart. I also have a headphone splitter, and I think I got this one from Boots, it's good because it has one, two, three, four, five, six different slots in it, so you can technically have six people listening to the same thing. It's good if me and Rich want to watch a film together on the plane, or listen to music when we're by the pool, so I love a good headphone splitter. I also have my portable phone charger, this one is from Anchor and I got it from Amazon. I like it because it's really small, it's literally this size, but it only really lasts for like two full charges and I feel like it runs out very quickly and it's normally like now it's got nothing, no charge in it, I keep forgetting to charge it, so it's probably not the best one to get but it's good for size. I have a pen, 
always need a pen just in case. And then I have my sunglasses. I think forgetting your sunglasses on holiday is probably like the worst thing. These are just Ray-Ban Wayfarers. They are very dirty and they need to clean, but they're pretty kind of classic shape. They kind of go with everything and they're not too heavy on the face, which is something that is really annoying, I think, when you're hot on holiday. They're very comfortable to wear. I have my phone, of course. I also have my clear bag. You always have to have a clear bag when you go on airplanes. And this one's from Muji. It's like the the proper size that you're allowed in the airports. So I'll just show you what is in here. Nothing drastic really, but I've got some <laughs> pills. I have like Nurofen in case I get cramps or a headache. I have Pyrites, which is an allergy pills, unless I get crazy allergies, hay fever or anything. And I have Quells, Kells or however you say it, which are travel sickness pills that I always take when I'm flying. I have the Body Shop Grapefruit Hand Sanitizer. Tissues, in case anyone needs to blow their nose. A little mirror. I'm not sure why, but it's very annoying when you need a mirror and you can't find one. A lip balm. This one is Burt's Bees and it's the Coconut and Pear. It's so delicious. It smells just like holiday, so that would be nice on the plane. I have my This Works Stressless Rollable, which I always have when I'm flying because it makes me feel calm and smells like a spa. Carex Refreshing Wipes in case I need to refresh myself or I spill anything. You never know. I have my Wild Fox um, Sleeping Mask. I probably won't sleep on this flight because it's very short, but just in case, this is really nice if you want to block out all the light. And then I have a hairband and a hair clip for when I'm on the plane and I want my hair out of my face. And that's everything in here. So now let me show you my handbag. And if you follow me on Twitter, you see that a couple of weeks ago, I was telling you guys how I'm just, I'm such a saver. I am not one to spend money on big things, apart from computers and cameras, because I've always had a bit of a techie thing. But I've never been one to like splash out on really expensive kind of handbags or clothes I like to save my money but I really thought that I deserved a treat recently and I've never bought a proper proper designer bag before so I thought why not I've been saving for a long time and I, it's beautiful I don't know if it's worth it I don't think it ever is but I'm really really happy with it so this is the bag it's from Chloe and it's this made out of this amazing like soft leather I love the handles because they're quite long so you can put it over your shoulder like this and it's a really nice shape. It's got really like soft material inside and then it has this really nice zip on the front that goes into a little pouch inside. So when you're holding it like this, you can put your phone or passport, anything important in there and it'll be really easy to get to, but it's also good because then no one can reach into your bag and take it. It's beautiful and I will look after it forever and I think it's quite a classic shape and obviously it's black so it will last me forever hopefully and I can hand it down to my daughter and I think Chloe is a really good brand it won't kind of lose its value or anything like that so yes the guilt is humongous but I think I worked hard for it and I'm really happy I treated myself but that'll be it for a while definitely back to Topshop so that's everything that's in my carry-on airport aeroplane bag I hope you enjoyed having a little peek inside my handbag I love watching what's inside my handbag videos so hopefully you guys enjoyed this too thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video Bye.